place, I'm just going to quickly explain the uh, sections, categories, and articles and menus for your Joomla 1.5 site. So the Joomla 1.5 has a three-tiered hierarchy for how they um, manage content for a website. And at the top level, there are sections, and you can have as many sections as you would like. And then inside of the sections are categories, and you can have as many categories per section. And there are articles inside of each category, and you can have as many articles as you would like. There, this is only for the back end of the Joomla site, though. Uh, it's just for uh, managing uh, your data and, and your articles, actually. And also for com um, modules and components that are based off of categories, like Newsflash down here, and Popular and Latest News. Those are populated by articles that are with, within categories. So if you have a simple site that's like five to 10 pages and you don't really want to categorize and section off your data, uh, I would just suggest making one section and one category for all of your data if you do want to use these modules. And I'll go over modules in um, a future tutorial. But um, Otherwise, you can use uncategorized articles, and I'll show that also um, in another tutorial. But uh, for this one, I'm just going to, just pretty much going over the fact that Joomla 1.5, excuse me, Joomla 1.5 has a three-tiered hierarchy, uh, starting with sections, then categories, and then articles. And um, once you're done with creating those, you'll create menu items or links that will uh, go to those sections, categories, and articles, as you can see here on the website. And I'll just go to FAQ. And this uh, link is a list link. So it's going to show a list of the categories that uh, are within that section. And you can change it to a blog style link that will show blog format of the articles inside of that section. And new to Joomla is a category and there's three articles in there. You can click on that. And this shows a list of the three articles inside of new to Joomla category. And also to go to the back end, I'm gonna log into my back end and I do that by typing in administrator at the end of the path of my website. I'm gonna log in. You can see here on the back end that there's a section manager, category manager, and article manager. You can also go there by going to the top navigation and go to content and there's the article section and category managers. So I'm just going to go to section manager. As you can see, there are three sections created and FAQs is one of them. And also you can see that there's uh, four categories in the FAQs section. So we can go to category manager. And here you can filter out which uh, categories you want to view based on section and also state if it's published or unpublished. But we're just going to filter it to FAQs. And as you can see, there are four categories. And the new to Joomla one has uh, three active articles. So let's check that out. The article manager, you can sort based on section, category, author, and state. I'm just going to go directly to the category, new to Joomla. And there are indeed three articles. And we saw this hierarchy uh, in the front end. We went to FAQs and saw that the new to Joomla category had three articles also. So that's the main explanation of the hierarchy that one point, Joomla 1.5 has. And I will then show you guys how to create these sections, categories, and menu items in the next few tutorials.